Weaving between saguaro cacti, navigating sharp and jagged rock gardens, looking for grip when there is none, and trying to keep your eyes on the trail when there is one staggering view after another waiting around every corner are some of the ways I'd describe my favorite place to ride bikes in the American Southwest. Let's go ahead and take a trip to the Sonoran Desert and have a look at the place where life and bikes meet in Tucson, Arizona. because it, it really it has a balance to it you know it's it's we're a city we have art and music and culture uh, you know we we're just we just became an international city of gastronomy and you know, our food scene is insane we've got you know two to three dozen breweries so you know you have the things that you want out of a city but we're also surrounded on all four sides by mountain ranges and public lands and so you ha you have the urban experience but you can get out of it easily i mean i can go have some of the best tacos and coffee on the planet and then i can go ride 60 miles of single track less than 10 miles from downtown all in the all in one day and then the next day i can have coffee at a different coffee shop go to a brewery and then drive up mount lemon and ride all mountain rides at 9,000 feet people are just friendly in general as well um, there's just there's a lot more to do if you're if you're kind of into that type of thing and it's kind of hard to explain but if you're just into the like outdoor world nature riding hiking Tucson's just the place to be in my opinion in Arizona it's a big town but it's like it still feels close knit I will tell you this it would take a lot to get me to leave now my roots are pretty deep uh, you know owning a small business being a part of of the mountain bike community and, and advocacy here. Um, it's, I can get anywhere I want to in, in under 40 minutes here. Um, and so it's very accessible. Um, we got this right in our backyards. Um, so yeah, I, I got, it would take a lot for me to leave. And, and I don't, honestly, I can't think of many places that I would go.
constantly questioning your sanity of like, why am I doing this? Why I've just spent 12 hours like driving out here to do this and then back or, or in a meeting all day or, or whatever, right? Why, why am I doing it? Um, I ask myself it all the time, <laughs> probably once a week. And it's, I don't know, to me it's pretty simple. Um, it, at least it always is the same answer, at least so far it has been. And again, it's because Tucson's just, Tucson's my home. Um, so these trails to me are important just because because it is my home, you know, like you just have that special connection when, when you're, when you're home. The funny part is that advocacy and trail building is actually my second career. Uh, I spent 15 years working in child welfare and social services. I was a CPS worker and an in-home therapist. I have a master's in counseling psychology. And so I, I spent you know, up more than a decade working real jobs. I used to go downtown and work in, on the 17th floor in office building in a suit and tie, and then also was doing advocacy 20 to 30 hours a week on top of this. Um, I essentially volunteered myself into a career change, and ultimately advocacy, trail building, you know, maintenance, any of that, this is still service to the community. You know, it's, it's still not trading time for money, and it's still helping make the community a better place. I think people are figuring out that it's not too big, it's not too small. There's tons of outdoor activities, um, huge rock climbing community, really budding mountain bike community, um, tons of road cycling. So it's just, I mean, we're in the uh, thick of winter here on March 2nd and and it's it's been gorgeous the whole whole winter long. So um, it's, a, it's a really, really cool place with a lot of culture, a um, lot of history. Um, and, and lots to do. You know, outdoor recreation and mountain biking changes lives. It has public health benefits, it gets people outside. Um, it's a major economic driver, not only in Tucson, but across the West. And so, you know, every trail we build gets more people out on, out on the trails. It helps people come here and spend money and kickstart the economy. Um, we're building a bike park and we're, we're, making, uh, we're making mountain biking that much more accessible to a whole bunch of people who would never otherwise be able to experience it. And so, you know, ultimately we are curating an experience for people to interact with and form connections with nature in their public lands. We started an organization that worked with the federal government and, and we're, seeing, we're seeing progress. It's taken 10 years, but it's, it's, things are starting to happen. Hopefully, with any luck, we'll see some, some new trails up there here in, in the years to come. I mean, that's why I do it. To me, to me, it's kind of simple. It's just, it's, it's, they, they provide so much to me, and so in return, I think I owe it to the trails to do the same thing. Yeah. Well, people used to tell me that everything must pass. Nothing here around us was ever meant to last. Grab that light around you, hold it to your breast till it's over. And out there in the distance, melancholy bells ringing on forever. Stories that they tell, Father, mighty Father, went down a wish of well in the morning. Ain't that the way? Save a little piece of your mind. They've got you drinking supernatural wine. I read it in the magazine, read it in the Times. Everyone was tangled up in someone else's vine. Father, mighty father, where do we draw the line? What's the answer? And I used to have a brother dreaming just like me. Guess we never really fall too far from the tree And now he's got forgiveness and a house for all to see outside the city Ain't that the way that it goes sometimes Just when you say a little piece of your mind They've got you drinking supernatural wine Supernatural is a feeling It can't save you in the night Supernatural left me real